Right ball. I like having a few ideas in my head for each practice. That ball kills everyone, huh? Good ball, Ross. I like to work with the player, trust their ideas, trust their instincts. I'm still somewhat young, but at 24, you've been around the game a, a lot. I like having a few ideas in my head for each practice, something new almost each time to keep it fresh and keep me motivated. How are you? Hi, I'm Neville. Nice, nice to meet you, Eric. Hi. So we're in Melbourne. We're at the practice venue. Uh, Riley just won his match last night, so we're just coming out for a pretty easy hit today. Not particularly working on anything, just trying to find a good rhythm. And in between days and slams, it's just about staying fresh and staying healthy and just feeling the ball. So we're just trying to keep hitting every day so that, and then move on to the next match day. So right, I reckon today we're just going to do like a, basically a really long warm up yeah, that's with a bunch of cross, get him to throw a few slider and body. How many sticks did you use yesterday? Three? No, I used like four. Okay. Neville's experience shows like loves tennis, loves coaching and um, he's an expert at it. You can tell he's a, just a natural. A little breezy out. Here we go. My coach uh, previously that I traveled with, uh, Jean-Yves Abonnet, has uh, just become a father. And, um, you know, we're in a different continent every week, and we don't get to see home much. So I need a guy that can still hit with me. It's important, I think, for warm-up. And I want a guy that's experienced. There's not many guys that fit the criteria, and especially with his background and his success. Good hand, Ryan. I've known Riley for a long time and uh, they approached me last year to find out what my current situation was and Riley and I started speaking and yeah, so that's, we, we find ourselves in Australia in January. So take some volleys when you want. Okay. Great. That ball kills everyone. Huh? Shooting. I like that heavy one. I think I'm pretty relaxed. I'm definitely not dictatorial. It's not, not my way or the highway. I like to work with the player. I try to get the player to trust their ideas, trust their instincts, and have really simple plans and, and execute them at a high level. Good ball. Just for the next couple of minutes, like that, like just go a little bit more aggressive than you normally. We're not like we're not rallying, we want to go a little bit more offensive. Wow, good hustle. Yep. Yep. Great ball. Yep. I think that's the biggest part is for coaches kind of knowing, like today we have the court for an hour. It doesn't mean we use it for an hour. And so I think he's really good at making that call. Um, in terms of how long and monitoring my volume and you could say being the kind of like the quarterback in, in terms of keeping everyone in the right spot. Good ball, right? We go backhand cross, you go forehand cross. When you're doing backhand cross, just remember whenever you can move around. Good ball. Hold him. Not a Yorker, but a good ball. Oh yeah. Good feet. You wanna switch sides for a few? You wanna drink or are you good? Great job with the feet. Really good spacing. Good. Nice. Great ball. Love it. It comes down to communication, and as long as there's good communication between the parties, 
it, it generally works pretty well and he's a really good guy he's a very relaxed guy even after he loses a match one minute later he's totally fine and I think it's a refreshing response because he's just trying to get better every single day he doesn't necessarily have ranking goals or money goals or uh, tournament goals it's, he's just trying to be a, a better player every day and it's really worked for him because he, he's embracing the challenge